Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 24 to 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. Hit that subscribe button, stay in contact with us. And also, if you want to learn more or you want to apply for our Sports Accelerator, then description below this video, there's going to be a link. Hit the link and you can book a call with us to learn more how to become a member of our Sports Accelerator program. So today I want to talk about relationship building and brand awareness, right? So how to build relationships with your audience and how to build more brand awareness, okay? So I'm going to share with you 10 different things, right? So 10 different things that you can implement into your business to help you to build your customer relationships, but also to help you grow and scale your brand to your audience, right? So make sure you get a pen and paper and take lots of notes because I know what I'm going to share with you today is going to be very valuable. So the first one is community engagement, right? So engaging with your local sports communities, your schools, or your local clubs. So if you're in soccer, for example, right, engaging with your local soccer community is going to be a, the a best way to help you to grow and scale your sports coaching business. Now, there's a number of ways you can do that. You can run free events. You can run seminars. You can do workshops. Right? There's a number of things that you can do to promote and grow your presence with your local community. Right? You can go in and run different events at schools. Something I did when I was starting out was going into my local schools and running a 3v3 soccer uh, tournament event. Right? So this was just free to the students, but it was a great way to get in front of of kids get in front of the school and just promote and build my brand to my audience right the second one is online presence right so building an online presence through uh, a variety of ways through coaching right so you might use your Instagram page for example to promote coaching tips coaching advice uh, helping your audience on how to become a better player, how to build technical development, but also using your, your social media to share with your audience success stories, testimonials of parents that, are, that you've worked with and sharing with them how you, you've taken a player from where they were at the beginning and through your coaching and expertise into where they are now, okay? So second one is online presence is a great way to build relationships, okay? Because the more you upload and the more you put out there, it's going to build trust with your audience, right? Next one is content marketing. So little bit similar to the second point, but content marketing is more to do with how can we now create uh, blogs? How can we create specific videos? How can we create maybe a, a podcast that talks about the certain struggles that your customers are having? So the, the last one was online presence. That's just maybe opening a different social media accounts, sharing with them an insight into what you guys actually do. But this one is now content specific marketing. So if you're working with a specific type of athlete that is struggling with a specific type of problem, then you can create specific content marketing based around those struggles that those players are having. So if you know that you're working with players that are at the lower end ability level, but they want to get into maybe a club team or a travel team, 
then your content can be designed around how how can those players go from a rec type of player into a travel or club player. Okay, so building blog posts, uh, creating videos, this might be through social media, or this might be through a YouTube channel that is specific to the problem that you're looking to solve. Right, the next one is networking, right? So attending sports related events, such as conferences, workshops to network with other professionals, such as coaches in your field, right? Now, why do you need to do this, right? It's important to do this because the more networking you do, the more data you will grab. So if you start building relationships with coaches, with athletes, with sports organizations, uh, you start to explore different collaboration uh, partnerships, then that can help not to only give you more data about the types of players or what struggles players are having in your local area, but it can also expand your reach and your brand awareness to more people. Okay, because if you come across someone that really likes what you're doing, that really respects your work, then what this can then turn into is potentially an opportunity to collaborate on maybe a clinic or a camp coming up. Right, the next one is client testimonials and referrals. I touched on very briefly, but for example, if you've got a website and a landing page, where you're directing all your traffic to, on that landing page would be a great idea to have client testimonials and, and success stories on there so that any parent that lands on your, your landing page that is either looking to sign up to a clinic, a camp, one-on-one -on -one training, group training, they can sign up with the confidence that you are a results driven business. You are a business that gets results for players, the players that you work with. Okay, so client testimonials is a great way. Put that on your landing page, put that on your website so parents and whoever lands on it can see and that just builds more trust and worthiness. Next one, referrals. So reaching out to your current client base and asking them for referrals. Now, there is a certain process to this. It's not a case of texting Mrs. Jones and saying, right, well, we want referrals, okay? Something I encourage coaches to do and something we, we work with, especially in our Sports Accelerator, is we help coaches to design specific referrals that they're reaching out to clients that they've maybe had for a long time, clients that have maybe had success stories with them, and we're offering them an incentive for them to refer someone into our business. Okay, and as a thank you, you might offer them a discount on the next month's training. You might offer them a free clinic. You might offer them a discount onto an upcoming camp, right? There's a number of ways that you can incentivize that parent to refer like-minded parents into your business. Next one is offer value added services, right? So what I mean by this is offering different types of services within your sports, sports coaching business so that you can help a variety and a certain amount of players, okay? There might be some parents who reach out to you that can't attend your group training or they can't afford your one-on-one -on -one training. Okay, so you might have alternatives which are maybe more affordable or they work around the availability of your clients and these might be offering services such as online training, personalized training programs, right, or running workshops for skill specific development. Okay, so what I mean by this, you might do a workshop online that focuses on confidence, on how to get recruited to play at the college level. But on top of that, you might also run one-off workshops per month where players can attend and get coaching from you, right? Something I did at the beginning of my business is I used to run these, these, these one-hour clinics once a month, 
But what I used to do is I used to reach out to the parents that, that were already in my program and I used to ask them, when are you guys available? And based on the information that I got, those were the days and times that I ran my clinic. The best thing to, to do that is also ask parents they, or set up, again, a referral program where your parents might get that clinic for free if they've been a committed client into your program, but with the condition they can only come for free if they bring a friend to you who registers for the clinic. Okay, that way, if you have 10 players that are supposed to attend your clinic and each player is bringing a friend, you've doubled that to now 20 players at your clinic. Okay, and that's an extra 10 people that you can promote and market your services to. Next one is sponsored and events, right? So sponsor local events, tournaments, or teams to increase brand awareness and visibility within your community, right? Now, this is something I would only recommend once your business has grown to the point where you can financially afford to be sponsoring certain events within your, within your community. Now, a way to do this is, again, by offering free events to the local community, right? So you can offer workshops, you can offer 3v3 tournaments, as I mentioned, that was something I did to local schools, running camps for, for local clubs. So you can do this and at the same time, not only are you promoting your coaching, but you're also, you're also promoting your brand as well, okay? But at the same time, once you grow and scale, you might want to sponsor a local non-profit program. So it might be a local rec program where you go in, you, you provide the coaching for them, and at the same time, you can promote your, your brand through the kids wearing shirts with your logo on it, for example, right? There's a number of ways that you can do this, but this is something I would recommend only and when you have grown and scaled to the point where you can do it, right? Eighth one, consistent marketing, uh, branding, messaging, right? So ensuring consistency in your brand messaging across all your communication channels, right? So if you've got social media, if you do email marketing, if you write blogs, if you do uh, YouTube videos, making sure your consistent branding messaging is across all those channels. So that whoever comes across, either an article, an email, a video, your social media post, they know what your brand essentially stands for. Okay, and just being very consistent. And it goes back to what I talked about, about knowing what problem you're solving for the athletes you're working with. Because if you're solving a specific problem for them, then what that does is if you are consistent in your branding, when parents have that problem with their child, they're going to search that on Google. And if though that you come up on Google, they are more likely to want to do business with you because they can relate to what your brand and messaging is. Right, the ninth one, feedback and continuous improvement. So feedback and continuous improvement just means reaching out to your current customer base and just asking them for feedback about your service. What can we do to improve? What have you enjoyed most about the coaching? And what is one thing that you would like to see coming up in the future? Okay, so just getting lots of feedback, getting lots of data so that you can continuously improve your business and achieve great results with your clients. Right, and the 10th one, partnerships with schools and sports organizations. Right, so building brand awareness means partnering up with local schools or sports organizations such as YMCAs and going in and running classes for them maybe in the evening, right, or running after school clubs at local schools. Okay, so reaching out to schools, adding value to them, showing how your coaching and how your service can improve the confidence, the technical ability, the and, and how by the kids training with you, they get better, not just in terms of sport, 
but also on a personal level in terms of their confidence, their staying healthy, and all of that will then transcend into the classroom where they can be more focused to, to study, to work, and hopefully what all schools want, they want their students to get better grades with you. And that can come as a result of them being active with and through your coaching, okay? So you enjoyed this video, give it a, hit the, the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, if you have any questions for me in the comments, right, I, I'll answer them. So any questions to do with what I talked about today in the comments, leave, leave your questions there. And if you want to apply to work with our company, then you can do that as well. Description, there's a link below. Hit the, hit the description and you'll be able to book a call with us to apply and become a member of our Sports Accelerator program. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.